Hi, this is Mark Hibben for Technomicon Media with a video tour of the Technomicon website. We designed the site layout to take advantage of widescreen displays such as 1080p monitors. If you don't have a large screen monitor, you can still use your browser zoom control to resize our page to fit your screen. Page content remains perfectly aligned and text is still legible over a very large zoom range. For iPad and Android tablets, the browser will automatically scale our page to fit your screen. We fit perfectly in the iPad browser. The Android-based Transformer Prime leaves the bottom of the page out of view due to its wide aspect ratio screen. You can easily zoom in or out when using these tablets and swipe to a region of interest. In fact, when reading articles, we recommend zooming in on the main content panel. Every Technomicon page offers a consistent user interface that displays three virtual devices. The main content panel is where articles or previews of articles are displayed. SiteNavi is our site navigation tool that goes with you wherever you go on the site. TechNotes provides alerts, usage hints, and supplementary article information. The home page offers instant previewing of the three most current articles in each of our sections. Clicking or touching the article icons will bring the previews up instantly on Mac or PC and almost instantly on the latest Android or iOS tablets. If you decide you want to read the full article, all you have to do is click or touch anywhere in the blue title link region to go to the full article. Generally, all our navigation controls are based on large rectangular regions to make it easier to use on touch-based devices and are light blue or have an image in the background. The home page also features convenient links to the section pages. The section pages work just like the home page, but allow you to browse a larger selection of articles from each of the sections. We've added a new feature to Technomicon called Tech Briefs, which are short articles that we post blog style for a rapid turnaround. The Tech Briefs content can also be previewed on the home page, and the content is embedded so that the full page can be read by scrolling. Android and iOS users can scroll Tech Briefs by swiping in the margins. Most of our page content is translatable using Google Chrome. This includes our pop-up previews. Tech briefs are embedded using inline frames, the same as used for YouTube videos, and Chrome isn't smart enough yet to translate the embedded content, but we hope this changes soon. When you click on an article link in order to read the full article, the article page has the same basic layout as the home page, but the article appears in the main content panel and the panel label switches to the section in which the article resides. The panel icons at the bottom of the panel allow you to switch instantly between parts of the article with full random access. There's no waiting for an article to reload, as with the conventional approach of breaking up an article among many separate HTML pages. Android and iOS users may notice a slight pause when the panel content switches. We've now made the panel icons larger, and in future articles, we'll be using the extra space to make the titles even more informative. Even though panel content is easily switched using the icon selectors, the content behaves like a normal web page. The text is selectable, and we often embed images and videos as well as links to other web pages or sites. The article text is fully translatable using Google Chrome. Our embedded videos are equally viewable on either iOS or Android devices without having to launch the YouTube app. iOS devices are automatically served QuickTime video by YouTube, while the Android browser uses the Flash Player.
All right, let's talk about iOS. On tablets, we recommend holding the tablet in portrait orientation and zooming in on the content panel. This way, the content panel works like a good e-reader. SiteNavi is our site navigation tool that provides instant access to any of the current articles on the site. For our purpose, current articles are the 14 most recent articles in a given section. After that, they go on the stack, which I'll talk more about in a minute. The default Site Basics tab contains links to frequently used pages such as the home page, sitemap, and so forth, as well as a link to contact us via email. As always, buttons are large rectangles to make it easier to use with mobile devices. For each of our sections, there's also a link to the section page, and clicking or touching this will bring you to that page. In keeping with the virtual device paradigm, SiteNavi works independently of other changes on a given page. SiteNavi works much the way navigation menus normally work, except that the menus stay visible until another tab is selected. But the key difference between SiteNavi and traditional navigation menus is that SiteNavi doesn't change as you move around the site, thereby providing a completely consistent user interface. The stack is where we put older articles for a section that has too many to fit into SiteNavi. The stack allows you to browse these articles using instant previews in exactly the same way that you would on the home page. We combine instant previews with content panel selectors so that the stack can accommodate almost unlimited growth of the site. The panel selectors and previews function independently so you can flip back and forth while maintaining the previews. Currently we have archived a number of tech chat, game tech, and product review articles. As always, click in the blue title link region to go directly to the article page. Usually sitemaps are large collections of old-fashioned text links, which are fine for use with a mouse, but are often too closely packed to be easy to use on touch-based devices. Even Apple still uses a text link-based sitemap. Our sitemap uses large icons similar to what we use for preview buttons on the home and section pages. To make room for all of these, we organize the buttons by section in the sitemap, with each section selected by an icon at the bottom of the content panel. The site overview shows visually how the site is organized and provides direct links to each of the sections. The Tech Notes tool provides pop-up hints for other parts of the Technomicon page, including itself, and supplementary technical information for articles, but in a way that doesn't get in your face. Usually, Tech Notes will be triggered by a mouse over of a given region, and tablet users can trigger the note by touching anywhere within that region, avoiding the active blue-colored links. Tech Briefs are the newest feature of the Technomicon site, intended to provide a way to quickly post short articles while giving our users a convenient way to view these posts. Articles are added to the top of the page so that the most recent post is on top and visible in the home page preview. Because we use inline frame embedding of the briefs, the entire set of Tech Briefs for a given week will be available in preview simply by scrolling the content region. PC and Mac users can scroll the tech brief by dragging the scroll bar or using a mouse wheel. Scrolling on a Mac OS device is particularly easy if you have a MacBook or the Magic Trackpad since you can scroll by swiping anywhere in the content region. Mobile device browsers such as iOS Safari and Android Chrome will require users to swipe within the wide margins we've designed for that purpose and we give a tech notes warning about this. If you want to view the briefs in a larger format, 
just click or touch the blue title link at the top of the content region to go directly to the Tech Briefs article page for that week. The content will be the same, but now you'll have a larger viewing region. This has been Mark Hibben for Technomicon Media. Thanks for watching.